Ask Mr. Jordan why he owes so much money. Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and I received a video from Patricia Benedict, and I wanted to go over that video as to what was being said. I'm not going to be here to say that I understand how Barbados is run, but what little I know is you have to be very cautious with the banks. You have to be very cautious when you're dealing with the bar association and attorneys. You have to be very careful if you're buying land in Barbados. Anything and everything could be up for grabs. So you have to be extremely careful how you do business there. Patricia, welcome into the studio. Yes, hi. Yes, thank you for having me. You're yeah, welcome. I'm just commenting on the video I sent to you. Yeah. Um, in the video where Tina Powers, you know, says that um, the insurance is in her name. She's referring to, um, it was, it used to be United Insurance Company Limited. And it's now, um, it, it was Massey. Now it's um, CG, what's the word? What's the word? Coralize. CG, um, Coralize, yes. It's now CG Coralize. Coralize. Yeah. And then she said she has a, um, a bank account, someone's bank account in her name. Yeah, so okay, um, let's say, let's say, just give, let me be the devil's advocate. Let's say she says mm -hmm. that she's the property manager of PUP 34, and you're saying that is it Kaipo? Is that the name you're saying? Is that the word you're saying? Yes, I yeah, I went to you're, Kaipo. You're saying that via Kaipo, she's not the um property manager, and who she is saying is the owner is not the owner, it's a business, PUP. PUP yes. 34 is a business. PUP 34. It's not, yeah. it's, it's a business. And when she says that that business, that she is an employee, she is an employee. So how would the insurance be in her name? And how would the bank accounts for a business be in her name? And then how is it that these things are going on? As you say to me offline, you said, well, these things are happening because there, there are people behind the scenes, CEOs and people who, you know, the movers and shakers who are making these things happen, but yet people are being disenfranchised. How is it possible that she stands as a property manager and says that she has bank accounts in her name or the bank account is in her name? How can you explain that to us? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's who, like I said, it's who you know. And some of the same CEOs and some of the same um, high-profile people are, 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 you know, has allowed her to get away with that for, for many years. Now, how could you have... I went to Kaipo and um, it told, they told me it's a business. I asked about Tina Powers, you know, they told me no. Um, there's only one person name on it and it's a business. Mm. So, um, I, 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 Miss for the life of me, I don't understand how somebody could have uh, somebody's insurance, Nash, um, uh, insurance, and and bank account in their name, access to it. And then one time when she told me how much uh, uh, money I had in my account, well, the lack of it, <laughs> I know what I had to do. Mm. I, I had to close my account mm -hmm. because that information is supposed to be my information is supposed to be confidential how was Tina Pabas you know allowed to have that information uh, you allow can I am allowed am I allowed to mention the bank um yes please CIBC I had problems with that bank you know? too I had problems with that bank I I sell a lot of people um you know, having issues with the, that bank. But it, a lot of those people um, that come in, 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 in Barbados that are, that leave or have homes, a lot of them have um, accounts there. Mm -hmm. And like I was telling people, they have to be very careful. They have to be very careful because if someone could say, but, and I would like, I would like to clarification on one thing. The bank that she has access to, the account she has access to, it, it wasn't CIBC. I want to make that very clear. But she had information. Someone gave her information about how much um, money or lack of money I had in my account. 
And that was a different bank? No, that's CIBC. This one is CIBC. That was CIBC. Okay. And that is very frightening for someone to have access to your information, especially when it comes to a bank. It's very, very frightening. Yeah. I just don't understand. You should not with everything you're telling me, I do not understand how a landowner there in Sunset Crest can be disenfranchised. People come and take over, call themselves um, property managers, say that they have the insurance in their name and have the bank accounts in their name and running things and putting people out and doing whatever and nothing happens. I just, you, you, you tied up my head and we were talking for maybe what, an hour and I... I just you know, cannot, I yeah, I cannot understand it because I live in the United States and I do, um, you know, I have, I, I, whatever, but I've never heard, that's never happened to me. That's never happened to me. And I can never, even, even sorry, go, even, even one of the red stripes was a member of PUP 34. Yeah. And, and you're saying that it's, it's one particular owner and it's a business and it should never have been but yet that owner allowed these things to happen i don't know i don't know i just do not understand it so so in it, it, the long and short of it is just be careful where you place your money be, be careful who you hire as an attorney be careful you know buying land but just just buying land you have to be very careful when you go to these developing or these third world countries to do anything like that because you, you you're never you're never as sure as you think you are you want to say anything to bring this home patricia is going to yes yes it, it, you know and the the person is getting a they're getting a refund from the in, in insurance company when it was united insurance uh you know what's that it, it, a refund a refund yes um some, it says I'm delit I'm just reading briefly. I'm delit um elected director of chairman of PUP thirty four and I refer to a letter sent to you dated March thirty first, twenty twenty one by you know who. And um but what it says that um um the PUP board of management has duly received the refund of insurance from your company and as it's the right under the Con condominium act. Please continue to correspond with Tina Papasino, the manager of PUP34 and its board of directors, not an individual unit owner. It's signed by Terry Hanton, who was director of I think, PUP34. I thought, you said, I thought you said the units were not owned by anyone. The unit is owned by one person. Oh, I see. You, but do you see, do you see what they were, they were like, allowed to do? And it's CC I, to it, different but, but, people. But, but what you just read was not the individual, not the individual unit owners. So there, there are more than one unit, right? The, it's okay. PUP thirty four is from five to sixteen, and like I had sent, I sent you the document. Listen, PUP I asked you, but um, what you just read, not not to it, communicate um, with the individual unit owner or owners. What you just read? Yes, it says. Um, and its board of members, not individual unit owner. They were free, you know who they it was, were. It was to. it was single. The when they said owner, it was single. It wasn't plural. Yes, they okay. were referring to George. Um, okay. Yes, they, okay. that's who they were referring to. Okay. Okay. But like I sent you the documents from um, Kaipo, um, PUP thirty four is from unit five to sixteen. And it's a business registered to only one person. Okay. So you know what this is. This is already is. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't understand how they are able to do that. And like I said, you've you you've said what you said, and I've heard what you said. And you, I I I actually think that you know what you're doing and what you're saying. I, you've convinced me. Yeah. But I still don't understand how it's possible that that can happen. I don't understand how it happens. It's who, it's who you know. It's who you know. And some of the. I'm, I'm not referring to Kaipo, but it, uh, some of the head people of establishments, it means some banks uh, and some, uh, you know, those people that have their connections and contacts. Okay. Yes. Okay. So is there anything you want to add to bring this on? You just be careful where you, where you, where you bank at, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you just be careful, you know, just be, um, just continue checking on your, your accounts. 
make sure that everything is is in intact you know that's all i could say yeah be careful in all things be careful in all things when you go yeah. to these small island nations when you go south of the border when you go um to developing or um what, what you will call them um third world nations just be careful mm -hmm. how you spend your money and how you mm -hmm. deposit your money and who you trust with your money be careful of all things this is sherry veronica yes naked departure radio